According to both Tolkien's books and their film adaptations, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, the mage was above any convention. Therefore, Galadriel, who was actually born an elf, not a mage, can well be compared to the mage Gandalf. Especially since, in a broad sense, this elven woman can also be considered a mage. After all, elves possessed magical abilities, especially as regards healing, longevity and art. And some facts of the biography of this heroine encourage to consider her a rather strong elf with abilities in magic. In the first centuries of her life, she lived in Valinor. According to one of the sketches in Tolkien's drafts, Galadriel bid farewell to the immortal lands and crossed the great sea on her own. Did physical strength alone help her do this? Hardly. She also had a highly developed talent for telepathy. Even mages like Gandalf and Saruman could not start a conversation at a distance by themselves. Galadriel was able to speak to the Council of the Wise, to the Fellowship of the Ring, and perhaps to the Elves of Lorien under her command. She had a marvelous magical artifact, the magic mirror, which showed the past and possible future, hidden desires and so on. And fans of Tolkien's screen adaptations remember the spectacular scene from the movie The Hobbit, where it was Galadriel who banished the necromancer from the tower, where she and Elrond, Saruman and Radagast came to save Gandalf. Yeah, that didn't happen in Tolkien's books. However, Gandalf at that moment was exhausted by the fight that had not gone in his favor, so he couldn't demonstrate his abilities to the fullest. But Saruman, the head of the White Council, could not banish the necromancer either. The elf woman did it instead of the mages. Perhaps such a victory elevated her above them both. So who was stronger, the mage Gandalf or the elf Escaladriel with perfectly developed magical talents? Let's compare on different indicators. First, power as a lord. Galadriel not only ruled Lorien, but was universally recognized as the most powerful of all the elven lords of Middle-earth that existed after the War of Wrath. Gandalf, on the other hand, had no kingdom, realm, or whatever territory under his leadership. Yes, he was above the world of the other creatures. He didn't need any power. It turns out he had no organizational experience. He looked after Middle-earth, he was not the only one. Yes, our wizard was Meyer, but Galadriel once lived in the immortal lands with the Valor, saw the light of Valinor, was one of the Kalakwandi, and had great power. And if you compare Galadriel to the mage Radagast, for example, the elf's powers were probably greater. Although maybe it was because of the reclusive life of the strange forest mage who had power, but did not want to show it. Second, warrior victories due to the use of magic specifically. Both Gandalf and Galadriel fought their opponents in a variety of ways, including using spells. Thus, when the orcs of Dol Guldur stormed Lorien several times, Galadriel personally brought its walls down upon them. Gandalf also demonstrated a wide variety of techniques in battle, and at times they were both slightly underplayed in their ability to use magic in battles more often, much to the dismay of Tolkien fans. Third, the presence of magic rings and other artifacts. Both of them had them. Gandalf had Narya's ring of fire, a staff, and probably various other artifacts, plus the occasional eagles, butterflies, and other creatures that served him. The elven woman had the water ring of Nenya, which protected Lorien, as well as the aforementioned magic mirror. Perhaps she was also able to use animals, or even humans, for her own purposes. It was not for nothing that she was feared in the neighborhood as a sorceress. Note, both of the rings mentioned were elven, but allowed to increase magical abilities of those who possessed them. Both of them depended on the one ring, and therefore ran out after its destruction, but were taken by their owners to Amman. Fourth, the need to observe prohibitions that restrained actions. There were certain restrictions placed on magical beings who possessed incredible powers. Therefore, Gandalf, as the Vala, could not use secret knowledge and special abilities for any occasion. Galadriel, on the other hand, was not constrained by special restrictions. Fifth, the specificity of magical abilities. It was slightly different. Gandalf could mostly control physical forces, such as a spectacular shockwave. He didn't just look after Middle-earth, but was there as a kind of curator, a mentor. 
like a messenger from the Valor. After all, he was a Meyer himself, so perhaps he had a finer, more expansive and further sense of events past and to come. Galadriel, on the other hand, was a master of elvish magic, skilled in many things, but as deep and far as Gandalf likely could not penetrate. So, if we understand magicians more broadly, Gandalf and Galadriel were of a close level. But the origins, as well as the sources, nature and power of magic in mages and elves, were slightly different. As powerful as the enchanted Galadriel was, she was only an elf, that is, by definition, a slightly lower-level creature in terms of magic power in Tolkien's universe. Realistically, the most dangerous to Gandalf were Sauron plus Saruman and the rest of the higher order colors of magic. It is interesting to hear your opinion. Who was stronger, Gandalf or Galadriel?